Hi everyone, Crystal, back again with another video. I'm here to share with you guys a um, an altered, um, what is this called, altered embroidery hook. So this is what we call a snail mail, um, hoop mail, I guess. Snail mail, hoop mail. <laughs> um, it's it's going around like this trend is going around on um, Instagram I seen and I also saw um, I forgot her channel what is it is it pop it could be no it's Serena B yeah Serena B's channel she um, created one of these and altered a um, an embroidery hoop and I actually, hold on a second. Oh, I got my embroidery hoop from Michaels and it's the nine inch size embroidery hoop. And so it's fairly big, it's like really big. I This was the smallest size that they had. So I decided to just pick this one up and alter this one. So the papers I used, just a mixture of different um, collections. I used, again, the um, crepe paper heart day I believe from last year I only have a few pieces um, left so this is what it looks like and so I decided I wanted mine to be um, filled with like handmade embellishments that I created um, so I'm going to be giving this to a friend I have two more that I need to make it, it'll probably be really similar to each other so I'm just going to show you this one here this is just a foam heart um, that you can pick up either at Dollar Tree I think I got this one from the Dollar Tree I'm not sure but I did pick that up and then I also picked up um, or I also used this chipboard piece from Heart Day Collection by Crate Paper if I'm kind of all over the place it's because my daughter it's her birthday today or she's having a party or not a party but like a get together with um a group of her friends and they're all here and mind you she turned 14 so it's oh, it's one of those kind of parties <laughs> so I'm kind of like taking shelter in my craft room so my mind is kind of like I'm kind of like listening out for them but then wanting to get this video uploaded anyway I um included this um, wand that I made um, similar to the one I showed in my last video this is a rosette wand and this here is using a Tim Holtz um, Tim Holtz strip rosette die then again I did the same type of layering um, there so I included that and then I also included some of these hearts here from um, Dollar Tree and also I, I, I think these are table scatters also from Dollar Tree and then I also included this envelope here and this is a Target dollar spot clothespin from last year and I wish I had more of these because they're so cute and I thought they would come out with um, more this year but they didn't so one of the few ones that I have left and then I just added some of these um, like die cuts from um, Michaels from last year and this one I included a, a stamp so that one's cute love that one and then I also included some of these and these are just some um, like candy topper candy bag toppers um, that I cut out with different various papers and I just added um, a bow to each um, topper and um, she can use this when she packages up some of her goodies so I did that one and then I also included some of these and these are um, handmade envelopes that I also created for her so that she can um, you know alter and kind of make it her own so I included that and then I also included um, what is this oh let's go to here I also included okay this uh, Valentine I, I added one of my hearts to the 
front of this envelope. And then I forgot what I put on the inside, but let's see. Oh, some of these um, shaker, shaker mason jars from Michael's. So I thought I would share some of those in this envelope here. And then I added one of these stickers, um, sticker sheets, and some more die cuts from Michael's with this Target dollar spot um, clothes pin. And then I made some handmade um, flowers using, I believe I used a tilde die. Do I still have it here? It looks like this, but I don't have the packaging, but this is the die I used. So I thought I would make some flowers so that she can add to some of her projects. And then I made this straw, another straw. This one says XO. And then this is a sticker sheet from Michaels from last year that I thought I would share. And then these are some of the chipboard um, pieces from the Target um, chipboard collection that just came out. And I thought I would share some of those. Um, and then I also included some of the heart embellishments that I created and shared in the last video. And then here's just a bunch of different doilies um, and then more die cut pieces with some felt. But yeah, that's, um, or a felt heart. So that's what I included. These things are fairly, fairly um, thin as you can see. You can, can't really add too much. So I just thought I would share, you know, and create something a little bit different. Um, than what I normally create but this is super fun and then this here's a tag that I created um, using some of my dies from my collection and I think I still have to add a bow here but I'm gonna add this bow I think this felt bow that I kind of started but haven't really completed but I'm gonna add it here um, once I'm done so anyways um, that's about it. I hope you guys like what I created. Um, if, again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a message or a comment down below and I will try to get back to you guys. All right, guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend so far and, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys, uh, later. Bye.